Hi, I'm Sneha May Francis and today on FC Early Buzz, the spotlight is on Bareilly Ki Barfi. A small film with a large heart, where two boys fight it out to get the girl of their dreams. Now, there is a moment in the film where the father is crawled on his bed, talking to the ceiling fan, very concerned about his unmarried daughter, yet quite happy that she's found two boys eligible to get married to. One is a little naughtier than the other, yet both endearing. And we can't help but agree with him because much of Bareli Ki Barfi rides on these two heroes. Here's a look at what I liked about the film, performances. Now everyone from Bitti to her mother to her father to the two boys who are trying to woo her, everyone's exceptional. Pankaj Tripathi as the meek father who's caught between the Kutu Meme of his daughter and his, and his wife and to Seema Bhargava who's this most annoying yet lovable mum who looks for a groom in every boy she meets to Preeti Sanan who owns the vulnerabilities and the dreams and aspirations of the t small town Bitti who has a very modern lifestyle. But the ones who actually win us over are Rajkumar Rao and Aishman Kurana. Now Rajkumar Rao is a versatile actor, there is no denying that. And in this he makes Pritam Vidrohi one of the most charming characters. You, you almost feel like wanting to go and cuddle him and tell him that everything's okay. He's the one who's spineless, who's been shuttled here and there, who's made to do things he obviously doesn't want to. Even while he's draping that sari and trying to sell it, you know his heart is not there, yet you want him to be happy. And uh, fighting him in this love battle is Aishman Kurana, who I think is a worthy competitor, who's taken on uh, this manipulative character so well. I mean, despite the flaws, you want to love him, you want him to win the girl as well. And Munna, the loyal friend who sticks by his notorious best friend Chirag Dubey's every evil plan, or should I say devious, he walks away with some of the best lines in the film. Now the innocence of small town stories. Now one film old uh, Ashwini Tiwari does know how to weave fun, interesting stories through the bylanes of Bareilly. So there are charming sequences, you know, you see a bookstore guy bargaining or when a young apprentice at a printing press doesn't quite understand the difference between beds and weds or when the banner of a store suddenly reads differently because one light bulb has gone fused. These are the things that make Bareilly Ki Barfi quite soulful. The comedy, I mean, it isn't the slapstick kind of oh sexist jokes kind of funny which is often the kind that is thrown our way but here it is situational like you know that it's it's clean it's fun and much of the credit should go to narrator Javed Akhtar Saab I must confess that it took me a while to get to figure out it was him but the mischief in that tour it kind of sets the pace of the film the, the point where a novelist is heartbroken because his books are not sold but they're sold to the raddi and those pages become packaging for food as a journalist i know how deeply upsetting that can be a little bit of drama kind of slips in so there is a, there are few sequences that are a bit exaggerated but those are far too few um, it is predictable, the story, and you know exactly where the filmmaker is taking you. Again, it goes with the genre. I know it's a rom-com, it's not a thriller, but a few surprise elements would have uh, uplifted the film. The accent. Some of the actors, I felt, uh, faltered. Uh, there were a lot of slip-ups, uh, a lot of um, the tone, the language, uh, quite distracting, I thought. <laughs> Now to sum it up, Bareilly Ki Barfi is a fun, fun film. It's going to make you laugh, it's going to make you feel a little bit scenty. But it's the kind of Barfi that I think all of us should have. And if you like my review, do comment, like, share and subscribe to Film Companion.